Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today I'm answering the question, how to clean your couch after head lice. I'm gonna divide it into three main parts. First, what to do if you have a cloth couch. Second, what to do if you have a leather couch. And then last, how to clean the pillows that are on your couch. Let's get to it. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com, and I'm a registered nurse, and I actually specialize in head lice. And if you're in the process of cleaning your house after lice, I have a room by room house cleaning checklist that is completely free and I will put a link for that in the description below. Okay, so let's talk about cleaning your couch after lice. And first off, you do not wanna use any pesticide lice sprays for any of your furniture. And that's because they don't work. Lice have grown resistant and immune to those lice sprays. In the most recent studies, 98 to 99% of lice have some level of immunity to those lice sprays. So don't waste your time on that. Okay, first let's talk about how to clean a cloth couch after lice. First thing you need to know is that lice don't burrow inside of things. So lice aren't going to be actually crawling inside of your couch, nor are they going to live inside of your couch. They have crab-like claws, which makes it so that they can grip onto cloth really well, but they don't use those claws to dig into things. So you don't have to worry about getting inside of your couch. You just need to worry about the outside of it. So really there's three options when it comes to having a cloth couch. The first one is very simple and easy, and that is to vacuum your couch. Obviously, this will only work if you have one of those handheld extensions that you can vacuum up against your couch. Often people wanna go above and beyond, and they want to deep clean it, like with soap and water. Head lice can hold their breath in water for a long, long, long time. So no, I would not recommend cleaning your couch with any kind of soapy water or anything like that. Now the other option is even easier and I think it's even more effective and that is using a sticky tape lint roller. That is what I've found to be the very most effective at picking up head lice. And I've actually experimented with all sorts of different things. A sticky tape lint roller picks up lice better than anything else. Now, if neither of those things sound good to you, there is one other option, and that is that you just leave the couch alone, don't use it, you could even cover it. Um, for 48 hours. I know it sounds gross, but lice actually suck your blood multiple times a day. And if they can't, then they quickly die. And in every study that's ever been out there, lice die within 48 hours of being off of a person's head. So if there are any head lice on your couch and you just cover it or leave it and don't sit on it for 48 hours, then any lice would die. Next, let's talk about a leather couch. If you have anything leather or pleather or anything like that, very similar concepts, except for lice really can't crawl well on those. Like I said, they have crab-like grip and so slippery leather, they're not gonna be moving on there very well. The best way to clean a leather or pleather type of couch is just wipe it down with a wet cloth. So if you have specific leather wipes or some kind of leather formula that you normally would wipe your couch down with, then just use that. Any lice would just wipe right off because they can't stick on to that. And then obviously you still have that same option of just leaving the couch for 48 hours or putting something on top of it for 48 hours. Okay, now last, let's talk about what to do with the pillows that may be on your couch. We've already talked about using a sticky lint roller. You can just sticky lint roller over each one of those specific pillows. And another option is to put them on the dryer on high heat for 40 minutes. I told you that washing things in water doesn't kill lice whatsoever, but high heat does kill lice. So if you can put pillows in the dryer on the highest heat setting and put them in there for 40 minutes, then that will kill lice as well. And then to answer the question about maybe any hardware on your couch or if you have like wood legs or metal legs, lice don't crawl on wood or metal. Their claw-like grips don't allow them to climb up something like that. So you really don't need to clean any of that stuff. If you really wanted to, then you could just wipe it down with the wet cloth. All right, well that covers how to clean your couch after head lice. I do wanna remind you that there is that free house cleaning checklist available to you. I put a link right in the description below. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, 
then head over to mylifesadvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.